Okay, guys, this is going to be a um, another teeny weeny haul. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling those the teeny weeny hauls. And um, if you guys remember one of my other hauls, there was a bunch of cupcake stuff that I'm just gonna make like Halloween cupcakes. Well, I finally got the little mix Duncan Hines Moist Deluxe Devil Food Cupcakes. <laughs> Forgive my nails, I was trying to play again with the cracked nail polish, and I have a bad habit of doing my nails right before bed, because you know, I'm just relaxing, chilling in bed, watching, you know, TV right before I go to bed, <laughs> and I do my nails, and I guess I don't give them enough time to dry, and they end up looking horrible like that. <laughs> I don't know, I need to get out of that habit. And some stickers that I got, here, hold on, let me put this down. Some stickers that I got that are so freaking cool. I found them today on accident. There's like the, whatever it's called, apple something, little candy corns, lollipops, the pumpkins. These are so cool. Like, I love these. So, yeah, I found these. There was more, but I need to be good. I've been spending a lot of money <laughs> that I shouldn't be. So these are pretty freaking dope, you guys. Okay, so, to the resin. Remember I told you guys I had, like, so many resin pieces to show you guys, so let's they're, I just um, glazed them, so they may look a little funny or not. Okay. We'll start off with this one. This one is so cute. I love that uh, confetti stuff I put in the background. This one's one of my favorite. Th this batch, is, I've got to say, is like one of my most favorite ever. And then I made these little crowns. Um, this one came out good, except for it messed up right there. There was, was a little bubble, I guess, and it messed up. And with this one, it came out good, like the shape, but the bubbles. I got lazy, and instead of mixing them in the coloring in the cup and then pouring it, I poured the resin, clear resin, tried to mix it well in here. Well, obviously, I wouldn't be able to see if there were bubbles or anything, so, yeah, I got that. But this one came out good, except for that one bubble I guess I missed, and, yeah, lame. But see, it looks so pretty once I put glitter and paint and mixed it, and I'm um, sorry, my fingers are so dirty from glazing stuff and all kinds of stuff sticking to my fingers. But it looks so pretty. This heart is really, really pretty. And it's just paint and glitter mixed in, and it comes out perfect. Now, remember the brass knuckles? I think they're too thin, which sucks, which, I mean, it could still be a necklace, I mean, you shouldn't run around, like, squeezing your jewelry, period, but I don't know, and I did the same thing, I was lazy, tried making it clear, and then putting the paint in, and I couldn't see the bubbles, so it messed up, but I redid it, and it looks better, but it may still be hardening. So it's not too bad. The shape comes out good. The color's good. It's just the flimsiness that I don't like. So I don't know if it's because it's still drying. It's too thin. I think it might be the fact that it's thin. Because I made this one. But this one's still a little flimsy and it's thick. So they may still be drying. Or it could be the paint. But it's weird because I put paint in the back of this one. Black paint. And it's not flimsy at all. So... But I did these way earlier than the paint, so, yeah, my fingers look disgusting. It looks like I have, like, a skin disease. But anyways, this is, um, a little fox that says Foxy, and it's pink glitter with, uh, black paint in the background, and it makes it look so freaking cool. It reminds me of, like, when you look at the sky, and the stars are, like, shining, yeah. That looks pretty freaking cool. The erasers. <laughs> It's alright, it's not that cute, but it'd probably be cuter if I did it in a square. But I was just experimenting, but I still love the little confetti background. This one I didn't even glaze or anything, it was just colors, playing with the colors. This one's one of my favorites, like, this batch has pretty cool ones, like, the tiger is obviously got pink glasses, so I made it um, pink and white glitter, and it looks pretty freaking sick. I'm excited. This one's one of my favorites too. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop saying that because I like them all. 
and then I give it a bl back black <laughs> a black background. It looks freaking cool. It looks weird in a cool way. Like it looks different. And this one, a little tiger. It's just got. I just put um blue, and it was supposed to be purple, but it looks like a different shade of blue, and then like orange, because it's like a colorful tiger. So I just put random colors. This one's cool too. The little kitty. But I think I needed a dark background because it's such a light sticker, so it doesn't really stand out. This one's really cool, too. I love this one. This is the O-Face. <gasps> Shock face. <laughs> so cute. This one's one of my favorites. I love this one. It's a cheetah, I think. Right, Ashley? Is this a cheetah? Or is that leopard? It's a cheetah, huh? <laughs> I have to ask because I think I messed it up last time, too. It's a cheetah. It's got the little spots, so I gave it pink and blue spots. So I think it's a pretty cool effect. This one's just a monkey. And the blue overran the pink. Or did I even put pink? I think I put a baby bit of pink, but it wasn't enough. And this one's so cute, too. I love this one. The kitty has an O face, too, and so does the candy corn. <laughs> this one's cool, too. It's the uh, owl. So I gave it the striped colors. But this one has got to be my favorite. Like, I don't even think I want to sell this one. I love this one. So cute. And then I made the cupcake. And again, <laughs> I was being lazy. And I put um, the paint in after. Like, usually, here, let me explain better. Is I mix the resin. And let's say I know I want a pink and red, whatever. I'll get three little cups, mix a little bit of resin with the red paint and then pour it. But this time I was lazy and pretend this is a mold. Or pretend this is a mold. I put the resin in, then I squeeze the paint in and then try to mix it around in there. It didn't work too well obviously. Because I left bubbles everywhere. So yeah, if you want to put paint in it to color it, make sure you mix it in the cup first. Because if it's in the mold, I guess something happens, I don't know, and it leaves bubbles and it's just not good. <laughs> so I messed uh, one, two, three up. But this one I can fix. I can put glitter over that. You won't even see it. This, I don't know. I don't think this one could still possibly be drawing. Like, I think it's just that it's so flimsy. Because this one's from the same batch. But it's a little flimsy. So it could be the paint. It could be, I don't know. It looks really cool though, which makes me sad. So I don't know. I'll probably try to make them out of polymer clay. So it'll be sturdier. And then glitter them up or something, I don't know. So this one looks pretty cool. Like, and this one's not glazed, so it would look it would look like this. So you see a little difference? Do you see how pretty that would look? Yeah. I'll see if I can find something hard enough. I don't know, I'll try to figure something out. But yeah, this is the resin. Oh, and then um, my little wannabe cupcake. <laughs> it's like silly. It's just up. Oh. It's just silly. It's the shape of a cupcake, but yeah, it doesn't have any definition or anything. Well, that is it for now. Um, I guess later I could show you guys the video of the cupcakes. It'd be so cool to do like a cupcake tutorial, huh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. I wonder. Probably search it up after this. Um, all right, guys. Um, that's it for now. And I might have another teeny weeny haul because um, I need to check my mail and there might be stuff in there, which I'm excited. I hope it's here. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.